Alright, welcome to uh, my first full length battle commentary video. Uh, the game we're playing is Napoleon Total War, and it's modded to use, uh, it's actually called NTW3, Napoleonic Total War 3, third mod in the series for, uh, they've modded the Total War game. Um, basically, on our side, on our extreme left, we have a burning Apollo. In the center is me. So Apollo and I are both British. On our right flank is Kin with the Russians. And then I'll go back to this side to tell you who we're facing. Um, on our left is VC, who's playing as Swedes. In the middle is Pally, who's taking a who has taken a long break from the game, but he's recently returned. He's playing the French. And on the extreme right is Max, who's also playing the French. Um, our original plan here was to try to take the high ground in the center after realizing that all of their armies were going for the high ground. Um, I instructed Apollo on our left flank to try to roll their left flank with my help and Ken who's on our right to uh, I didn't really give him any orders because he's a really good player so pretty much almost probably defend against two people over here while we attack on the left so the first things first at this point I've already instructed Apollo to uh, that I want the left flank taken we see the Swedes have brought up this artillery piece and another artillery piece right here. They have a very, very dominant position over here looking down on our entire left flank practically. So at this point, my uh, one of my main goals is to try to get rid of this artillery and give Apollo a chance to try to roll this flank. You can see Apollo's cab is coming in here. He's going straight for the guns. VC counters with his cavalry. So what Apollo does here is he actually sends this cavalry. Hussars against Hussars. It's actually a pretty even battle. You would think the British should probably win, but both units end up routing. And then he has another unit over here, Dragoons that are going to try to take out both sets of guns. Takes a little bit of canister shot there. Um, the Swedes try to move up a unit to defend their guns. It's a little too late though. So Apollo's routed this cannon right here. Now he's going for the other one. Unfortunately he gets shot down and immediately his dragoons are out. So he's done a good job. He's taken out one cannon. Uh, he's killed one guy from this unit. And now he's, uh, he's firing on these cannons as well. Uh, prolonged, prolonged battle here with the cannons would probably mean that Apollo would lose because I think VC has a pretty good position over him. Sometimes in the middle of a battle, it's hard to uh, hard to figure out where a good spot to put your cannons are. You've really got to get down and actually look at the terrain. 
So anyhow, in the middle, um, I've uh, diverted all my cavalry. Where are they? They're here. They're diverted all my cavalry to get behind Apollo. Um, I have four units: King's German Legion Foot times three and Light Foot, which are excellent shooters, on this flank to prevent Pally from coming over here. And then in the middle, basically, what I'm going to do is try to form a line here to face most of Pally's line. At this point, I noticed that Pally was sending a lot of stuff towards Apollo, as you can see. So my main goal here was, once I noticed this, try to run my units up and uh, scare, him into, scare him into coming back to face me. So this is one of a this is Apollo's unit that routed before he actually the unit came back. He didn't realize it. Um, this unit just pretty much went a wall and did whatever it wanted to get shot up to hell right here. And this time they'll route for good. So, uh, what we're facing here, actually, VC's original cannons, the first one Apollo hit, has come back. Surprisingly, they hadn't lost that many men. They only lost one cannon. Now he has this other one, too. So, two cannons firing down on Apollo's position. I told Apollo I wanted him to take the left flank, but what he actually was going for uh, VC's right, basically. So I had to move these units up quick to uh, just protect his flank. His flank was getting hit pretty hard from Pally had these two cannons here. I'll show you what they're looking at. They're looking at the flank of Apollo's units that are moving up to attack VC. Really good firing position. You can see he's doing a lot of damage. Of course, at this point, Apollo's telling me he's a little bit worried about his uh, the cannons on his flank. So, anyhow, in the middle, like I said, I was running my forces up, and Pally actually stopped most of his units here. Um, the right flank, which our right flank, I'm not going to talk about a whole lot, because there's a lot of melee over here. And it's going to be hard to tell you exactly what's going on. But what Kin does is he comes up on this hill. Uh, he holds the line very well. And Max will end up charging him at some point. So back here, uh, I'm sending two of my cabin for what I'd like to call a surgical artillery strike. If I would have just targeted the guns, clicked my cavalry and sent them right to the guns, they probably would have lost. But what I did was try to sneak them through here. Uh, I end up sending one of my cavalry back to keep them out of the fray of things. And this will be our second attempt at this same set of guns right here. This time we're successful. And then following Apollo's original path, I'm going to go for the other gun. I route that unit. Their flag is gone. They're not coming back. And now we have this uh, large skirmish battalion here. Uh, they do a lot of damage. Real susceptible to cavalry. I send my cavalry after them, but... I think, uh, I don't think they actually charged him. I think they sort of just ran into him because didn't route the unit. My cavalry is going to end up getting routed here. As you can see, they're just kind of in a melee without a charge. 
our men are running for. And this guy is, uh, he's having a really bad day. I've seen a couple other guys like that. But, uh, so I'm sending this other cavalry unit, the one I originally called off the guns, to go after this skirmisher unit. Once again, there's no real good charge out of them. I think it has to do with distances. And I decided to pull them back before there's any more damage to them. Here's another dude that's having a bad day right here. It's got to be a real horrible way to die or... I mean, if he survives, I'm sure he's going to have a lot of... Uh, a lot of raspberries on his back. Or his face, I guess it's his face. Alright, so back to the battle. Um, taking out VC's artillery. Which gives... Um, gives Apollo the ability to just move up as he pleases. Over on this is Apollo's right flank. This is his um, this is his very right flank where I said I moved up those four units. And Pally's turned a few units and some artillery to face me. Um, as you can see, Ken is involved in a lot of melee basically. Let's see what he does here. Ken's gonna go after his guns. Now he turns his units back. So, um, VC actually had a nice cap strike here, which got these Dutch line infantry into square. And this, uh, I'm not going to try to spell it or pronounce, pronounce it. This unit charges. I send my cab in, destroys VC's cab that came in. And now I'm going to go after this unit that just hit Paulo. The units in the middle of melee, obviously, they can't form square, so it's a good time to hit them and they route immediately, even though they really didn't take any damage. So, v or I'm sorry, Apollo's moving up in the center section. He's free to roam however he wants. He's moving his artillery up. I'm still on his right flank, um, facing some units of pallies. And then my main line is still facing Pally's front, which has a pretty good dominant artillery position. He can fire at me. I've moved. I've moved some artillery, one piece here, and another piece that's walking through the woods here somewhere. And I pretty much put them both in really bad positions, so they were mainly ineffective. Here's uh, Pally charged with his cavalry. Apollo saw it coming from a mile away, formed square, did a little bit of damage to the cav. And at this point, Apollo was asking me to uh, come up on his flank because he was worried about Pally coming in. I think this is my cab that I'm sending after these skirmishers to finally get rid of them. After being quote unquote charged three times, they finally route. At this point, BC's in a lot of trouble. He's got no artillery. He's down to uh, one or two cavalry units. He's got a few units routing. You can see VC's, uh, VC's hitting Apollo's right flank again. Apollo sees a common form square, no problem. 